Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the U.S. House of Representatives again. Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives. And, well, just how things are going for them. And we'll get a little bit of insight, maybe, into some developments that, honestly... They didn't really add up at first. Marjorie uh, Taylor Greene, she said something, and it just didn't make a whole lot of sense, unless she truly believed what Ken Buck said about more Republicans heading for the door before the end of the term. And we'll start there. This is what she said. I am not going to be responsible for Hakeem Jeffries being Speaker of the House. I am not going to be responsible for a Democratic majority taking over our Republican majority. That lies squarely on the shoulders of these Republicans that are leaving early because they don't have the intestinal fortitude to handle the real fight and the responsibility that comes with leadership in the end of our republic when our country is nearly destroyed. (laughs) That's a mouthful. That is a mouthful. Um, it's worth noting that the end of the Republic might occur if, I don't know, uh, the, the government didn't accept the votes. That might happen then. Um, not just is it a mouthful, it seems weird. Because she certainly seems to be saying, do not blame me when the Democratic Party takes over. It's not my fault. It's not the fault of my motion to vacate, and she's just saying this. And it it seemed odd. It seemed out of place. The only thing I could think of was that she was just taking Ken Buck at his word, or she knew something the rest of us didn't. So there's an outlet called Axios, and one of the things they're really good at is getting quotes that are kind of off the record, and getting an inside look into things. And by themselves, the information, it's interesting. But when you combine it with other things, it provides a lot of context. They got some quotes from uh, Republican lawmakers. And these Republican lawmakers are people who have... uh, thought about heading towards the door themselves, or they heard their colleagues talking about it, a number of them. And they're venting about how some members in the U.S. House of Representatives, some Republican members, are more concerned about vanity, about raising their media profile. Short of actually calling them the Twitter faction, they were calling them the Twitter faction. The vast majority of members came to make a difference. We understand the utility of posturing and politics for the goal of governing. That's not what's going on anymore, though. The inmates are running the asylum. And it seems that that feeling is uh, its not isolated, based on the article. I'll put it down below because there, there's some other interesting quotes in it. Um, it certainly appears that there are a number of Republicans who are considering leaving before the end of the term. Understand, the Republican Party can't lose a whole lot. Um, in, in the sense of even being able to really say they have a majority, if they lose too many, there really might be a Speaker Jeffries. Um, it seems like an outside chance to me because it's not something that normally happens. Um, But the conversations are there. So it's something to keep an eye on, especially if you have people in Congress already saying, that's not my fault. It, It might indicate that It's a more realistic possibility than most of us are viewing it as. 
Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.